It is the faithfulness of an almighty, loving God that has blessed us in our brightest moments and sustained us in our darkest hours. It is the faithfulness of an almighty, loving God that has helped us survive our prosperity and endure our poverty. It is the faithfulness of an almighty, loving God that brings us comfort in the face of staggering loss. We salute our heroes who return from the battlefields that now exist both here and abroad. We remember and revere those who did not return. Throughout the history of this nation, there have been many that have bravely given their lives to preserve, protect, and defend the essentials of freedom. They are fellow citizens who died for the principles and values we should strive to live by. They wore the uniforms of the military, firefighters, police, nurses, and doctors. They were construction workers, business people, civil servants and volunteers, people from all walks of life who found themselves in the grip of crisis and rose to greatness. They are Americans. They are family, friends, and neighbors. We know them. We love them. We miss them. From the very foundations of this republic, our citizens have offered the sacrifice that freedom requires. From the very foundations of the republic, we have honored those who cherish liberty more than life. Less than a century into our nation's independence, our 16th president, Abraham Lincoln, spoke of this sacrifice and devotion. The time, November 19, 1863. The event, the dedication of a national cemetery. The place, a little-known village in southern Pennsylvania called Gettysburg. The words, few, but forever inscribed on the heart of a grateful nation. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation. Conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for those who here gave their lives that that, that nation, nation might live. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this, but in a larger sense, we, we cannot can dedicate we cannot consecrate, we cannot hallow this ground. The brave men living and dead who struggled here have consecrated it, far above our poor power to add or detract. detract. The world will little note nor long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. It, it is, is for us, the living rather, to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which they who fought here have thus far so nobly advanced. It is, rather, for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us, that from these honored dead we take increased devotion to that cause for which they gave the last full measure of devotion, that, that we, we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain, that this nation, under God, shall have a new birth of freedom, and, and that, that government go of the people, by the people, for the people shall not perish from the earth. There is no greater love than this, to lay down your life for your friends. Let us stand in silence to honor our mothers and fathers, wives and husbands, sisters and brothers, daughters and sons, our family, neighbors and friends, who gave the last full measure of devotion. We remember, we must never forget.
Deliver us. 